girl given an extraordinary uh, gift. I never like, seriously looked at myself as someone who could be special one day. To me, it's, uh, it's a gift. Sometimes we see only what's in front of us, right? Mm -hmm. But someone up there sees way beyond all of that. I think the mark of a leader is not telling them what to do. Mm -hmm. They know what to do, actually. Mm -hmm. But to try mm -hmm. to influence everybody. Or motivate. Or motivate as in to rise above what is in front of us now. My first pay is yes. I offered to pay for the phone bill. Do you remember pa magkano yung first pay 400 check? 400 pesos. Oh, wow! Dati ay kilala bilang insular life na ngayon ay in life na. Ang in life ang kauna-unahan at pinakamalaking tubong Pilipinong insurance company sa bansa na ngayon ay pinamumunuan ng isang natatanging leader. Nina Aguas has built a storied career in banking and finance spanning over three decades. Kilalani natin ang unang babaeng chairperson ng InLife. Dito lamang sa Usapang Bilyonaryo. Let's uh, go back memory lane and start with your childhood. What are your memories of growing up? Is it Tarlac or Pampanga? My parents graduated, uh, I think migrated to Tarlac during the World War, no? so it was their way of escaping because we lost an uncle sa Bataan March, mm -hmm. right in front of my grandma's doorstep. So that was very traumatic for them, so I guess they went home mm -hmm. and f tried to create a new home in Tarlac. Your parents were educators. They were both from the academe. Mm -hmm. um, my mother was a public school teacher, uh, grade school, and my dad was more um, into like uh, college level and, and all of that. But he was a Fulbright scholar. And I guess that's where we got the discipline in terms of education. I suppose he sh showed you the importance of going beyond the Philippine borders. Yes, exactly. And uh, before that, through his letters, when he would write home, uh, we would try to imagine where he was and of course we cannot relate to snow or we cannot relate to the uh, loneliness no, of being uh, away from the family. And uh, he helped us imagine what it's like to be beyond. At uh, that time it was really bucolic or a uh, very uh, provincial. provincial town. So you were a provinciana in the beginning. Very, very provinciana until high school. Mm -hmm. So. Um, they sent us to the only private school in Tarlac, which was Holy Spirit. So we were educated by the, Holy, uh, the nuns. By the nun. I had a first grade teacher who passed uh, a month ago only. Oh, and um, wow. she, she really set us up, at least mm -hmm. my, my, my classmates and I. She was a very good first grade teacher. And to this day, every one of us <laughs> uh, think about her and how she's helped us uh, through the years. and. Uh, Wow, you she really trace special. the influences that early. Yes, and this especially for me, um, she always like, I became a teacher's assistant at first grade. And uh, sometimes I do not understand <laughs> why I have to stay after class instead of playing so, for PE, you know? Yeah. And I, I really envied my classmates because they were already <laughs> out, but I had to like help her check uh, math papers and quizzes and, and all of that. That early on, your teachers already saw your potential. Maybe, but I did not see it. it I'm just an ordinary girl, I thought, mm -hmm. right? And um, over a period, I, I realized an ordinary girl given an extraordinary uh, gift. I never like, seriously looked at myself as someone who could be special one day. To me, it's, uh, it's a gift. It was a gift that was You're good. saying it's just all luck? Uh, I wouldn't say it's luck. I think it's, uh, sometimes we see only what's in front of us, right? Mm -hmm. But someone up there sees way beyond all of that, right? Did you um, really want to be an accountant? Was that something you really aspired for? Being an accountant was my mother's dream mm -hmm. because uh, her comadres and all other friends, they have, uh, children who were CPAs, and I had no idea what a CPA was, right? I took a two-year uh, BSC uh, course, but no major yet. Mm -hmm. And then she said, when I was deciding, uh, you have to qualify to be an accounting major mm -hmm. in USD, no? Mm -hmm. And uh, 
Sabi niya, why don't you take it? So I qualified naman. Mm -hmm. So sabi ko, sige na nga. But I was more a student leader. I was really in the school politics. Ah. And uh, I was very active. Mm -hmm. uh, you uh, really love, you were a leader. I, I mean, thought, in, poli in school politics, you, I mean, that's, there's election, you yes, have to campaign. Yes, even in high school, I headed certain organizations. So, complete ang extracurricular yeah. activities, all these clubs. You yeah. I understand you also was, were in the badminton varsity team. Yes, I was in the first, only to avoid PE. Kala ka naman magaling sa sport. So, you did not, at this age, you did not intend to change the world. You had no dreams of being a model, f uh, you know, breaking barriers for women. You no, had no, no. In no fact, it was just a disposition I had. No, mm -hmm. uh, I, I think uh, it was innate. Uh, for example, I was president of my freshman class, and then the whole batch, president of the sophomore class of the whole uh, college and then a vice president of the student council at that time. So you really wanted to lead? In that sense, maybe. I mm -hmm. mean, like, to be honest, mm -hmm. uh, I'd rather be leading than following. <laughs> <laughs> but are you a good follower, too? Because that, I am. I that's am. a mark of a good le yes, leader. Yes, it's a mark right? of a good leader. But and you'd rather tell people what to do? I give don't orders tell people. okay no i influence people ah. to do uh, to, to do, do what you want to do what i want or to do things differently mm -hmm. i think the mark of a leader is not telling them what to do mm -hmm. they know what to do actually mm -hmm. but to try mm -hmm. to influence everybody or motivate or motivate as them to rise above what is in front of us now from graduation sgv was the first company you yeah. applied and that to that was again uh, I think an accident, no, because I've always wanted to work for a bank. No, I thought like it was glamorous. But three of my friends in college, they were all going to SGV to apply. And I said like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You had even no clue? I, I, yeah, the know. venerable SGV. SGV. And then um, I said, come on, you go, because we're reviewing for the exams anyway. We're all like mm -hmm. good and etc. The long and short, I passed the exam, right? And then we went for interview. So there were three of us good friends. One was a summa cum laude, one was a mania. I did not graduate with honors, uh, primarily because I was... You were busy. Uh, no, no excuses, but I fell in love also at the same <laughs> time. So I had a boyfriend, so I guess that was a distraction. But anyway, I hope he doesn't watch this. <laughs> <laughs> of the three of us, uh, the, the one and myself, uh, we we were accepted by SGV. Yes, because if you're an, a CPA yes, at that time, there yes. was no other firm. There was no other firm. You're so to, right. To go it to. It was the firm. Yeah, it was. Uh, so yeah. uh, what happened then, I entered SGV. It was my very first job, real job. And uh, my first pay says, I offered to pay for the phone bill. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember pa magkano yung first paycheck? 400 pesos. Oh, wow! We were allowed only one phone call a week. I used that one phone call, says, to the uh, child who needed homework uh, assistance most.
the Governor General at that time. Oh. So this November 9, 1932. So there's a lot of history there. Yeah. And then there's one this table. It's so memorable actually. This is your board group. No, this is, this is just your yeah. oh. so here, 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 here. read this one. I know it's a little bit Achievements of the Constitutional Convention Committee of Finance and Public Accounts, which held meetings around this table in the year 1935. I know. Imagine. Yeah. 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 What a gift. Yeah. Oh, this is, this is That's me. It's 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 me. Was when I saw my picture up there. There's no woman here but you. <laughs> we made it. How was your stint there? It was short and very sweet. And the reason I say that is uh, uh, that was in December, and then uh, during those days, it takes you like a year to know the results of the exam. Of the uh, so I learned that I passed, right? The uh, CPA board. And uh, that was such a big deal. And then one client was very happy with me, working with him for uh, two years long, no? And then he decided to make me an offer. By that time, I found a new boyfriend in SGV, <laughs> who I married. <laughs> you both are accountants. Yes, he was my supervisor. He was my boss. Wala pa sexual harassment. Allowed pang office romance. Yeah. Ako nag he had to study abroad to yeah, he, so he you was identified as a scholar mm -hmm. of SGV mm -hmm. sent to Northwestern and at that time I already transitioned from SGV to this very big guy very, I mean if I tell you the name you will know the thing was like um, at that age I was very naive in, yeah. in many ways right so uh, we would like be picked up on a Friday night Mm. and uh, go to this island and mm -hmm. then this island has everything and mm -hmm. and then come back for the weekend I thought that was that was really an eye-opener for a provinciana like me <laughs> mm -hmm. so, and then like it was the first time I tasted uh, pistachio nuts <laughs> <laughs> right and then with everything being flown in yeah in this um you you an a luxurious lifestyle yeah was revealed to was you. was revealed to me another lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, uh, so very far from my own, right? Yes. And then horses would be flown in and they would ride the horses by the mm. beach and, and all of that. So, but then that was cut short also because Mario had to be, uh, was identified as a scholar to go to Northwestern University so for his was masters. It, was it with a heavy heart? And it was painful, no? So, uh, and then I had a second baby while in Chicago, diba? I had the first baby and then a second baby, and uh, uh, and pause muna yung career pause because completely, but not completely. Okay. I did bookkeeping from home. <laughs> <laughs> I had, I thought I should help Mario because like um, his stipend was very small. Mm -hmm. As a student, he wasn't supposed to have a family with him, and uh, but we wanted to be together, and. Uh, to support him. So I also like reviewed his thesis papers no? <laughs> and did a few things for him. Yeah. Just so that my mind, uh, I mean, but I was a very yeah. good uh, I, at babysitting, <laughs> being a homemaker. I yeah. cook very well. So. <laughs> ah. so, that's, so that was for two years. For two years. For two years, um, keeping the home, yeah. doing a little Book bookkeeping keeping on the side so you earned a little money yeah, uh -huh. yeah it was not much but yeah. uh, just it, to add in fact some of the other fellow students in northwestern because i cook right if mm -hmm. they want to have dinner in the house i charge yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really yeah because the well you were students yeah. we were stu he was a student so that's know? i think excusable yeah yeah <laughs> no if they want to eat well diva uh -huh. or otherwise well, at least it's uh, know, home cooking. Uh, so you're smart with money also. I was very frugal. I guess we got it from my, our parents also. Uh, they were very careful with money. And we never really had the luxury of like overspending mm -hmm. or... No, we were on allowance all the time. Mm -hmm. At what part point in your life did you 
make real yung talagang hindi ka na alam mo hindi na mag hindi na tayo magtitipid sa oh. oh. I guess when Mario became a partner mm -hmm. sa SGV so he was uh, there's profit sharing there mm -hmm. and all of that and at the same time I became an expat status within city no mm -hmm. so uh, very few people knew that that although I was based in Manila uh, which was an arrangement I made because by then we had three kids and um, I was really very involved in uh, in in homework and uh, school stuff never missed one uh, important event in school uh, I made an arrangement with New York to say that I can be based in Manila but fly out anytime I'm needed no so uh, instead mm -hmm. of like so you were hired for a New York position no for an Asia Pacific position mm -hmm. I so see we had regional offices in Singapore I and Hong see. Kong but rather than be based there because we were a dual career family uh, I opted to stay in Manila but it meant like traveling about 70 percent of the time uh, leaving on a Sunday night or Monday morning and then back on a Friday night mm -hmm. but uh, and even then it was hard because we didn't have internet and mm -hmm. Wi-Fi and and all of that all the technology we were allowed only one phone call a week I used that one phone call says to the uh, child who needed homework uh, assistance most a lot of little sacrifices but it's just still a lot of fun I'd rather be traveling than than watching them every day. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I, I think I'm a better mother uh, because I'm working. And I'm a better office You think that's a rationalization? Could be a little bit. <laughs> yeah, but... Um, I always... I also say that. Because at one time, I asked the girls, do you think mom should quit already because I was traveling way too much? She says, no, mom, no, don't. <laughs> uh, we want to be like you when we grow up. Oh, di ba? Pwede na. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pwede na. They, they saw you and they saw something that they could aspire of for. Course. Yeah. And so you have all daughters? No, I have only two daughters and three sons. Uh -huh. Three very handsome sons. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they're all married now and um, have their own lives and families mm -hmm. and 15 grandchildren, right? So is there anything in life still that you you want to achieve you've checked every practically every actually says i never really thought life that way uh in that sense mm -hmm. uh, in a sense that i have to do this i have to I have do, do, do this, this. i have yeah. to be this i have to be like yeah. this right yeah. um i just live every day uh, every present moment i just take it a day at a time mm -hmm. and and enjoy every moment i mean i have uh, such, such a, a wonderful in life family now mm -hmm. And uh, after all the assignments with foreign companies, it was such a joy and a blessing to be part of Angel Life. Mm -hmm. Is it correct to say that um, before you assumed, well, independent director first, then CEO? Yes. Um, you were in semi-retirement? They lured you out of retirement? Or maybe you slowed down? My mom was aging at that time. Mm -hmm. She was in her 90s. And um, to be an expat, and I said, like, you know, she, she will not have many more years, no? And... Uh, so you came home? I came home. I resigned from ANZ. And uh, I didn't know what to do. I'm sure it was you were paid very well, very well. handsomely. Yeah, yes, extremely well. So I guess it was just like, uh, you know... Um, but I never defined it in those terms, Seth, honestly. I just let, let life unfold before me. I know not it's any, amazing. It's amazing, ha? right? Because hindi ka yung you wouldn't describe yourself as ambitious. No. I wouldn't. I, I was just letting You mean these unfold. opportunities just fell on your lap? Honestly, if there was such you, a thing, it's a miracle, right? And so in fact even this thing when I was uh, when I quit City, it was the most difficult thing for me to do. But I was at the heart of the financial crisis in New York. Mm -hmm. uh, six seven eight were the worst times to be in new york and then we were laying off people like anything so by 10 o'clock uh, uh, three fourths of the floor would be gone and that really hit me and i said what is where is the ethics here where's humanity here right i said i offer up right i want to go back to asia 
because at that point it was just way too difficult. And so you volunteered to? Yeah. I even if hindi ka kasale doon. You're the one fighting people. Yes. We were the ones fighting people. And then uh, I really talked to my HR person I said, and my boss. I said, I just have to go. I can't do this anymore, right? Um, that's where I, nag, naglalaban eh. Mm -hmm. Your desire to stay, and then yung, you're looking out for people. My own people, I have to let go, right? Yeah. So that was most painful for me. And by then, I had pretty a set aside an aesthetic. And I, you know, it was also a very calculated uh, no, I really <laughs> move. Because <laughs> 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 offer. Because the offer. yung yeah. yung uh, yeah. mag sink it was painful, pa. Yeah. No, baka mag, no you know, I you lost never also in the stock markets in New York, di ba? Uh, the the uh, CG stock went became a penny stock, so it's really it's really hard. Hindi ka kinakabahan when you make such. You have that much faith. Yes. Yeah, I have faith in God and, and trust that, that you will I be. I went to Mass every day, even when I was in New York. Okay. And your husband, where was he? He was retired by then. Ah, okay. Which was so this was um, easy na to... Easier for me to take on foreign assignments. Right. Easier na. Ah. And he was, he was so generous in that sense because uh, he was never envious. He was never like, you know, he was always supportive. Mm -hmm. So he was disposed as well, I guess, no? And then I came home. I was headhunted mm -hmm. uh, by Australian New Zealand mm -hmm. Bank. But the post had to be in Singapore because Mario by then was retired so he could like join me. Mm -hmm. That's when then I came home and I said like I look out uh, I look after my mother first. Mm -hmm. So I got her with me and uh, together with my other sisters, we were all looking after her until she passed. She was ninety three. Uh, and no regrets. So I was so happy I was able to do that. But to spend uh, her last years, years with, with her. me. At yeah. least, like we, we always looked out for her. But then um, she was very independent-minded, so she didn't want to live with any one of us mm -hmm. until she was no longer capable. No, and then I was headhunted again, kila Eric Recto and Bobby Young Pin for Philippine Bank of Communications. Okay. Ah, yeah. PB, yeah. PB PB Com. Com. So there's always an opportunity knocking at your door, no? Can you I mean, that? Yes. here you are just like... Yeah. Can you imagine yeah. that? What would your advice be to women who would like to make their mark in finance, in banking? Mexican inspired. It's Mexican, Moroccan, uh, and uh, Filipino. It's a fusion. What attracted you to me? <laughs> First thing, one word. Okay. Really? Why? 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 How was it for you walking into a boardroom full of suits? Actually, I got practice or rehearsal in a sense because when I headed uh, the uh, in city, when I uh, headed Asia Pacific, I was the only female. female How was it in city? How was it? City was tough. So city was tough because we were really competing with uh, different cultures, uh, different it's nationalities. It's so multicultural. It's, yes. Yeah. Yes, it is multicultural, and you really have to speak up because it's always been equated with intelligence, no? Mm -hmm. 
If you don't have an opinion, you might as well be a desk. <laughs> <laughs> and here you are, Miss sure. Opinionated. <laughs> Miss Campos, uh, yeah. politician. Yes. So I always made Champo, right? Nagshine ka. Eh, Nagshine ako, kasi uh, all the men they like compete. Talaga man, they really compete. Mm. But you choose your timing all the mm. time, right? And so sige nga, anong mga tips? <laughs> you choose your timing all the time. <laughs> Hindi naman yung ba banat ng banat no, lang. No, not banat ng banat. Uh -huh. You choose your moment. Very strategic. Yeah, very strategic. And then be very logical mm. in terms of how you approach an issue, how you present it, mm. and what solutions uh, you're recommending. Very often kasi, the guys hear a portion of it and they parrot you, no? Mm. And they just like steal your idea. Yeah, biglang, it's not your idea. It's it, no yes. longer your idea. Yeah, they sometimes get the credit. They get the credit. Okay. So I saw that the dynamics of that, or for example, the chairman work, uh, walks into the room. Yeah. John Reed at that time, he's so guapo. And all these men gravitate towards him. Yeah? They circle because him. alpha is a, Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So they circle him. Mm -hmm. I stay out of the circle because yeah. I know he's going to walk to me. Hindi ikaw ang lalapit. Hindi ako lalapit. Strategy, diba? When it came to uh, Insulin Life, it was my very first, not my very first, um, I guess, multi-billion, uh, mm. multi-billion, organization versus be, uh, fund local. You're used in billion dollar. Yeah. Sorry, billion peso lang dito. It's okay. No, it's not sorry. A <laughs> peso is getting stronger. <laughs> when you uh, took charge, um, apparently profits uh, increased. What I think there impact was a cultural change. Okay. In, in a way, I gave more empowerment to the people culturally. And uh, I allow them to make decisions no? mm. for their own because that is how we did it for multinationals. No? The, the power was it's more not autonomy. At the center, autonomy. Mm. And then uh, making them more confident in the decisions that they're making. Uh, I tried to be as supportive as I can, but I wanted uh, uh, harmony as well. No? And uh, of course, the question is. Why do we? They have to get somebody from the outside to run in Chile. Like, mm. I was never in their radar screen for sure, mm. right? Mm. Because they have, would have had their own succession plans, mm. etc. So I see also it's God's design. No, mm. it's just destiny. You were there when they also needed a culture yes, change. Yes, yes, yes. I think mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. It just happened. So I, I, I did not ambition it. Mm. I did not go for yeah. it in many ways. Yeah. So when it. Then, Mahal ka ng Diyos, ano? Ah, yes. <laughs> I think far more than I deserve. Truly, I've been blessed far more than I deserve. So, so what do you do with that blessing, right? Mm -hmm. So you, you make the most out of it. But for me, it all begins with people. The opening up of the insurance uh, industry. industry to foreign competition, how, how are you faring there? We are in most measures in the top five. Mm -hmm. So we're able to compete head to head with the foreign players, no? Mm -hmm. And uh, that is, the, I, I guess that's the gift of engineering life. Uh, we've been here 113 years this year. We have a very, very strong balance sheet. Mm -hmm. So uh, in that sense, you know, obligations or claims today or in the future, there's no worry. Mm -hmm. How do you find the competition though? How, uh, they are aggressive, mm -hmm. um, but you know, there's so much business to underwrite, I would say, because the Philippines is still so very underinsured. I guess in that sense, the more players there are, the better. I mean, at least uh, how I view it, Diva, mm -hmm. then so many more people are served. Mm -hmm. Because if I'm not able to reach them, somebody else may mm -hmm. be able to. Mm -hmm. And now we're featuring women. We're, we're working with women a lot because they say they're the chief finance officers of the families, as well as the chief health officers of the <laughs> families. And we're able to identify so many Shiro's in the country, young and old, like you, you would be a Shiro, <laughs> you have survived everything. You know, Filipino women are just exceptional mm -hmm. in many ways. I guess one question I would really like to ask is because you've forged a path, you know, for women to, you've blazed a trail for women. Um, what would your advice be to women who would like to make their mark in finance, in banking? You say yes to the opportunity. I don't think you should deny yourself the chance if like, it's presented to you 
No, maybe not at the first instance, but uh, think it through. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll never know if you don't say yes to something, right? To, mm. to the offer. And uh, just find the courage to do it. Sometimes uh, you second guess yourself, is this the right thing for me? Mm -hmm. Maybe not, but just trust. Trust someone who can guide you, etc. Get a good mentor. But uh, Did you have one? I had several and um, in terms of my career, for example, in City, but I'd like to think them more uh, as sponsors, no? And uh, I know it's a different uh, adjective to describe it, but uh, when I say a sponsor, for example, if you have a very good working relationship already, and he would be in other meetings or with other associates, and when there's an opportunity for someone, uh, you would need that sponsor to mention your name, mm -hmm. because if not, you're forgotten, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and you cultivate that over time. I said respect and trust is not built overnight, mm -hmm. but Mm -hmm. Day after day, day mm -hmm. after day, you just have to prove yourself. So for the women out there, I think one really is uh, find the courage to say yes. Uh, second is to trust. And um, third, I would say be your authentic self. Be genuine. You no, know, Because uh, if you try to be somebody else that you're not, I think it will show. Mm -hmm. right? So speak from the heart. Mm -hmm. Speak from your core, and uh, you'll get there, you know. Mm -hmm. Of course, we all stumble and fall sometimes, but pick up yourself, dust yourself, sige, fight, mm -hmm. diva. Uh, don't let it, like, bring you down mm -hmm. for a long, yes, you can be sad I'm sure you had those moments. I had moments. my own. I had my own. Uh, no one is free of that, and uh, I was passed up for a promotion one time, and... Uh, uh, I, I took it like an adult, you know, and I said to myself, my time will come. But it came soon after, so <laughs> I'm okay. Or, or, or as a challenge. As no? a challenge. Yeah. Take it, pick it up as a challenge. Don't look at it as a... As Something's a wrong with yes. you. Or what did I not do well? Mm. Or why? Uh, sometimes we always question ourselves, what could have I done better, mm. etc., etc. Just think of it this way. It's not you, it's them. <laughs> Right, or yeah. their loss. Their loss, yeah, their mm. loss. Mm. So uh, they'll realize it soon enough. Mm. Did you ever, were you ever made to feel uh, less because you were a woman in at one point in your career? No. Never? Um, no, no, man. I mean, I guess I had enough self-confidence uh, and self awareness mm -hmm. that I'm not less because I grew up in the company of women. We were five sisters so that uh, it made no difference mm -hmm. whether we were, uh, I was a son or a daughter. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, uh, I was okay, mm -hmm. I think. We're you were confident in your being a woman. Yes. You didn't think no. you had no. to make excuses for it or work extra hard. For, it for was your capability. It is our, mm -hmm. yes, my disposition, I think, mm -hmm. and my abilities. Filipinos are, um, you know, we have a long way still to go in terms of financial literacy. See, yes. And, you know, realizing the value of savings, insurance. Um, so what you're doing is not just... I guess, you know, for the bottom line, but it's education also. Yes, uh -uh. I, because I truly, truly believe this, that we, uh, as an organization, exist for a reason. If I do well for the community, if I do well for our countrymen, and I do well, it will reflect in the bottom line. It will come. It will come. Uh, so, um, because if you're always out for profit, you'll be very disappointed, because the markets can go against you. And um, it's cyclical, no? It's really providing good to the community. And that's why I changed the tagline to a lifetime for good. In fact, we will provide good beyond lifetimes. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh, dead ka na, pero um, yeah, your you heirs are yes, uh, enjoying they're the benefits. They are enjoying your dreams. Yeah. Diba? Your dreams uh, come to fruition even after you're past. You've passed, you're dead. Right? Because, yeah. I mean, we have so many heartwarming stories because we are one of the insurance companies that pay 
on time, no? Mm -hmm. And when there's a claim, we, we don't waste our time. Like, you know, mm -hmm. uh, we, we provide the heirs, mm -hmm. the, um, the benefits from the insurance policy that their principal bought. And uh, because of that, they're able to continue with their studies. Mm -hmm. They're able to pay for a lot of things mm -hmm. and uh, fulfill the dreams mm -hmm. of the parent no, who may have passed. This is one of the noblest industries one can get into. So is this um, the last company now or, uh, you know, you have this long <laughs> list. <laughs> Only he knows, right? <laughs> we, I mean, I, I just ask myself every day, what is it you want me to do today, right? Mm -hmm. And um, if it's not this, maybe it's something else. Because uh, until we're breathing, says, mm -hmm. uh, right, I think. You're not one to know, no? to take long vacations and just uh, put up your legs and, I don't know, watch TV No, and... we recently like uh, took a family vacation and we took a cruise, no? Uh -huh. And there was 24 of us. Oh, wow. Children, grandchildren, my sister Rakas. <laughs> we just all realized how gift, what a gift it was, what a miracle it was to, to be able for us to, to be go together. to be yeah. together to go on vacation. <laughs> so these are the th m things you really cherish now. Yeah, you know, time so, with yeah, family. time with family. Uh, although we've always make family time. At least every Sunday lunch is uh, at our home, yeah. at my place. It's like a barangay. Yeah. It's a village, no? So every time we get together, we're about twenty. Mm. At the very least, every meal, every Sunday. Nina Aguas is a woman of many firsts. She has broken the glass ceiling many times over. In steering the growth of in life, she is delivering healthy financial returns coupled with positive social impact. Sa kanyang pamumuno ng bilyong bilyong pisong halaga ng insurance plans, kayo ay nakakasiguro na nasa mabuting kamay ang inyong kinabukasan. Ako po si Cez Orenia Drilon. Hanggang sa susunod nating pagkikita, dito lamang sa Usapang Bilyonaryo.